Hello, welcome back to our Clipbus and iOS 8 integration with Google G Suite. In today's session, we will find out the integration of the Clipbus and the G Suite in the uh, OAuth 2 SSO workflow. Okay, so I also assume that you already have the G Suite account, right, registered. Um, so, so now we will start to log into a G Suite account for uh, OAuth 2 um, authentication, right? So for, first of all, we have to log into this one to create the OAuth 2 setting uh, for the Clipbus integration. All right, so to do that, you can go to this page, log into this one. Let me go to that. Um, okay, so this is my account. I already have created right a G Suite account. Um, so once you go to here already, you can go to the credential. Right. Now in the new uh, G Suite um in, in, in the new uh, G Suite or um um version before you can create the OAuth 2 client ID you have to create the OAuth consent screen right so basically um, let me show you what I have been done so this is the first setting you, you, you have to do so basically you just create the the app name you want so this one is a app I just say uh, it's great it's called CPBM SSO OAuth 2 and this is the um, my admin um, email right cppm sso1 at cppso one dot page um, now app domain i just leave it uh, there now important the authorized domain is the one do you are using in your clipbus so my clipbus full name is um, clipbus.arubalab.net so the authorized domain i have to enter here is arubalab.net right so it's important to configure this and enter your uh, admin account under the developer contact information and then you save and continue all right that's the first one and after you've done this uh, OAuth screen uh, consent screen you can go to the credentials so credential is where you create the clipbus as the OAuth 2 client id right uh, so to do this, we just go to create credential here and choose the OAuth, to, uh, o, uh, OAuth client ID. Okay, so I already created um, here. Let me show you the detail setting I have done from here. Now during the time you create, you need to make sure that you save the client ID and client secret. This is two important information you have to save it for uh, later on uh, to do the integration with the clipbus uh, another important thing is that the under the auth right redirect URIs you have to make sure that you key in your https uh, colon uh, slash slash clipbus dot aruba dot uh, um, aruba lab dot net so this is your clipbus um, DNS name followed by slash guest slash social underscore provider underscore edit dot php so you copy exactly the same you just need to change this one by your own clipbus DNS name this is the first ui right second ui is your clipbus um so called the uh, um, the guest catapulter login page you configure right so this is the page that uh, we configure under the clipbus let me show you here All right so this is the page the one we do for uh, um, for uh, for uh, OAuth 2 OAuth 2 yeah this is the one All right so this is the second one that uh, you have to allow right copy from here to here the SSO G Suite OAuth 2 CPBM SSO 1 right you see that so that is uh, the page you have to allow from here so these two things to make it work okay so uh, that's how you create your um, you configure the 
uh, Google G Suite to add to configure the clear pass at your client ID for OAuth 2 authentication. Okay, so next step is that you next step is you move into the clear pass uh, CPPM for uh, for OAuth 2 SSO. Right. Uh, so basically from the clear pass CPPM for OAuth 2, it is very uh, pretty much the same as you have done for the SAML except you for the org 2 integration you don't need to have this SAML SSO pre org guest login this this service is only required for the SSO integration workflow for org 2 you don't need this one uh, so the first service needed is this uh, service right uh, we need to have this one for controller initiated and map org for uh, the map authentication these two services is, is needed and the next one is the clipbus guest now clipbus guest is here all right so we again same we go back to the um, landing page right so landing page is the same page we just need to add the second line uh, the next line for the uh, i mean the the, uh, the the hyperlink to link to our um, oak 2 right authentication workflow and remember followed by uh, help and MAC address followed by this uh, HTML code to capture the MAC address of the client which is required for the Catapult authentication right so that's why under the um, landing page right you will see the option we see is under here right this one is because of we have this code okay and the page we have the page we have is SSO G Suite or Op2 CPM SO1. So the page is under here. Alright, go to edit. So this is a detailed configuration for uh, the um, OAuth 2. Now if you notice right, the difference with the previous uh, SAMO integration is that um, the, the page name is different, right? Of course. The vendor is the same, the login method is the same, address is the same because we use the same controller. Now, um, authentication, right? You will notice that under the custom form, we tick to say provide a custom login form because of we don't really need to use the login. Uh, we don't re really need to use the, uh, the, the, the clipbus guest built in HTTP, um, uh, you know, HTML code for using a password uh, box, right? So we just, uh, and also for pre op right? The pre op for OAuth 2 which we don't do anything right so authentication for OAuth 2 will be handled uh, uh, during the authorization authorization stage not for the pre -op. so the pre you have to choose none uh, none here right and uh, skin the same right um, right so under the cloud identity now for the SAML this one unchecked but for the OAuth 2 you have to check this one so when you check this one enable um, basically it will uh, it will have then you can have you have to copy this this one right buttons put it under the footer so that's why you see the under the footer emails we put in this code this is important right <clears throat> and then that's where you can start to go to add new authentication provider right so let me uh, let me so called remove this one and I will show you how to get a new one right I need to add new authentication provider and I go to select I, I choose the G Suite here and use this provider now the client ID is the information that you need to um, you know I just uh, mentioned that you need to capture right this is the one Okay, copy this one and you paste right client secret copy this one and paste over here right click advance uh, advance auto redirect choose to automatically redirect the guest to this provider check this option okay um, and then endpoint attribute you choose create additional endpoint attributes converting any arrays to JSON it means that when it well, after it logging successfully it will save all the attribute of the uh, G Suite account to the endpoint database for 
authorization using in a uh, in, in a next uh, authentication and then uh, go down here uh, you say google group retrieve the google group membership for guest account this one is for again uh, using for uh, authorization purpose uh, in next uh, in, in later on policy right now this is important you have to click here click to generate an uh, authorization code so this is required to add this one in click to here basically when you click to there it will bring you to the page to log in to the your just account right so basically it's my account and you need to allow this one to access to so click allow right um log in with your this is your clipas guest right so once you done that one it will just authorization code could be generated and put it here and that's all right and then you can add so that's how to create the G Suite as a provider for OAuth 2 authentication, right? Then from here you can save the change. All right, that's all you done, right? So that's uh, how you do for uh, web authentication, right? Web login. Now, um, to do the test, right? We can go. Let me see any additional step. Ah, uh, let me show you the um, uh, the Wi-Fi setting also, right? So basically, for the the OAuth two setting, uh, the the all the setting you have done for demo on the controller perspective, it's exactly the same. Um, we use we use the same SSID, right? So all the setting you have done, uh, you have done for uh, for the demo, you can uh, can be reused. You know, like the triple profile, it is exactly the same. Uh, no diff, right? Um, this is the one you have done, right? Uh, row, initial row, my authentication default row, everything, right? Uh, no double next, and turn on the map authentication, add in the clipas, and see map authentication server group, radius accounting server group, and COA is just it's exactly the same. We don't change anything here, right? And then under um, under the SSID again same. SSID it is the same one we are using for the demo right so I just want to show you here um, yes right same no diff right and then the web also the same exactly the same web uh, virtual IP setting so basically we are using the same setting uh, uh, um, that we use for demo. The reason is because of we are using the same one, means we are landing page the same landing page, right? We just use different uh, login page for different workflow to make it simple. So we don't need to create multiple SSID for different uh, workflow for testing purpose. All right. Um, under authentication, right? L three authentication. We still using the same page, uh, same landing page, which is uh, this one. Right. This is a landing page that we use. Uh, to redirect the uh, the user when they connect to the Wi-Fi, right? Okay, so let's do a testing. Um, cancel, right? User. Now, um, let's check this particular user, the one we do the testing, right? Uh, D zero three zero. So now they are in the guest log on row. Um, let's open. This is a client, right? Yeah, correct. Go here. Equal. We got into mode. Go to Aruba Network.com. When we go to here, it will redirect me to the login page, right? And now to test, we will use the G Suite, right? This one. Click here, and now you see that it will um it will basically use the OAuth two, right? Uh, no more demo. So because of we are using the OAuth two workflow, key the uh, username and key in the password right so this one it will do the authentication uh, and then after that it will do the HTTP post and then I get the internet access because I get authenticated successfully right so you see the row chain to from guest log on row to guest row that's how I get the internet access so let's take a look at the access tracker to see what happened right um, okay so if you look at here it's in fact right it's only hit this radius request there's uh you notice that there's no uh there's no so basically we have the map uh 
um, Mac Op, right? See, um, D uh, D zero three zero. Yes, we filter this one. D zero three zero, right? So basically, basically we from the CPPM we only see the uh, <coughs> we only see the Mac Op, which is the um, first time user log in and it will get the user to cut it portal by by return uh, the row gets the row to the controller and after user log in successfully the CPM will only see the controller initiated request sent from the uh, controller to the CPM for authentication yeah so it's a standard one this SSO authentication method and um, input right username authorization uh, nothing much but we have this additional attribute compared to SAMO we don't have this and also under the compute attribute right we have the remember authentication source is social login repository right um, you look at the endpoint repository so this is where we have the we, we save all these setting under uh, the endpoint repository so means that we can use the attribute from here in our future uh, authorization right so this is something that uh, different compared to SAML so for SAML it supports the pre op but the attribute is not really much for OOC it do not support uh, pre op but it's authentication authentication come together with the authorization um, however OOC to give much more attribute for uh, to, to be used in the policy compared to SAML right Okay, so that's uh, that's how the uh, OAuth two workflow look like, right? Uh, uh, compared to SAML, and that's all for today's session, right? Um, for uh, the Clipas AOS eight and G Suite uh, OAuth two authentication uh, workflow. Thank you.